Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to Outward. Thank you guys very much for clicking on the video and joining me here today. So last time, we did a tribal favor, and that stopped our community from taking our lighthouse away from us. So we get to keep our house, which is really good. We're going to need our house. We have a stash here, we have a bed here, we have a kitchen. Speaking of the kitchen, uh, do we want to cook anything? I think we're okay on food for now. Uh, but we may be able to make some more while we're here. Let's go check that out. And then we need to decide where we want to venture off to next. Someone had mentioned a quest in a troglodyte cave uh, to retrieve a special mushroom shield. So we might look at doing that. Travel rations are used to uh, progress to different zones. Uh, so we can eat these, but really we make them when we're ready to travel to new zones. So we're going to hold on to them for now. Uh, we don't have any jam. And strangely, like I can't make jam. So right now, unless I can just... That didn't make anything. Okay. <laughs> so that's not how you make jam. Maybe we'll find the recipe at some point. All right, before we head out, we do need to fill up our water bottle. And I might stop at the, there's a there's a skill trainer here. And although I'm not really sure like what kind of build I want to go with yet for this run, I think we'll check the skill trainer and we'll see what kinds of skills we might be able to learn. That's not what I wanted. Uh, we have 62 silver, so all the skills in the game are purchased with silver. That's like, you know, money is the ultimate resource in Outward. Money is going to afford your equipment, your crafting materials, your skills. You really, you really gotta have the money. Uh, Oda and Eto. Amber, my friend. Uh, I'd like to talk. Curious. He's busy, he doesn't want to talk, okay. Amber, my friend. Edo was with us on the boat. Yuzan mentioned that. Okay, so, Kazite Spellblade. That's the kinds of spells we can learn here. Uh, you work your way up from the bottom, I'm pretty sure. So, skill cost down here is 50 silver a skill. Uh, this is, um, I forget what they call this. It's like, it's like a break point. You can only you can only break three of these. So see how we have three right here? That's all you get for your character. So there's like eight different skill trees in the game. All taught by their individual trainers. But you can only progress to the second tier of three of them. So you kind of have to think about what you want to do before you start spending your chain breaks. Uh, for this one, shoot a projectile of the element that is infused on your weapon. Uh, what do we have down here? Shield charge could be really good. We'd, we'd have to have steady arm first. Increases impact resistance while you're blocking. Increase maximum HP. I, I think I would like to go maybe with like a, a more tankier build. I, I haven't done a tankier build. On my build in the in the run that I finished the base game, we were we were like a shaman caster. We had rune spells and we casted rune spells, and that was really cool. But I think this time I might go with like a heavy armor, one-hander and shield type of situation. Uh, let's just go grab this. This seems like it's not an active skill. But, you know, increasing our max HP uh, just seems like a good good place to start. Let's just grab that right off the bat. Uh, what I don't... can I do for you? I wonder... I made a trip to visit the old hermit in the valley beyond the ghost pass. It's a dangerous journey, but his knowledge of magic is vast. To learn the spells of the Cabal of Winds, there is no better teacher. Alright, so we'll start there. I don't know if we'll go, like, full Spellblade. I, I might just grab the HP and the Shield Charge. And we'll have a look at different spell trees as we come across the trainers. Alright, let's, let's go fill up our canteen. Uh, 
Ah, uh, we also have to speak to Yazan and o Oliel. They are both leaving town. They're heading off to different, uh, different regions. So from what I recall, there's like three main factions in the game. And Sierzo is part of one of them. And the first DLC added uh, another faction. And I, I don't know if the second DLC added any more factions. Uh, let's drink first, and then we'll gather. That will fill us up, and let's go talk to Yazan. I take it you've heard the news? Come to see your old pal off? I've got one little fishing barge to my name, and by a lot, I'm gonna use it. Oh, I'm leaving for the heroic kingdom of Levant, never to darken the, this stain of a city ever again. The heroic kingdom believes in chasing progress to create a better world. Uh, the heroic kingdom doesn't buy into the idea that we should only focus on survival. They believe pushing progress to create an even better society. Alright, listen up. It's a place where you can do what you were meant to do without having to answer to oppressive tribal laws and the misdeeds of your ancestors. You succeed or fail on your own merits and no one else's. Uh, why so far away? Levant believes that everyone deserves a shot at what they're best at. And doesn't have these backward tribal laws to deal with. It's the rational place for a fresh start. And honestly, the farther away I am from my dolt of a brother and that tyrant Arisa, the better I'll sleep at night. Uh, how do you plan on making it to Levant and the sea can only get you so close? I mean, it's in the middle of the desert. We'll go by ocean as far as we can, then blink it across the Abrasar Desert on foot. We'll be rationing water the whole way. If I could afford it, I'd have bought potions to help with the heat, but we'll have to try our luck without them. Uh, we're gonna miss you, love. We're gonna miss you. Even though we barely know you, we're gonna miss you. Likewise, my friend. I'm a assuming we have a history. I like that he has like a mechanical peg leg and some kind of like half robotic arm. And also a massive greatsword. If you plan to make the journey to Levant completely on foot, be prepared for a long, long journey. You'll have to leave the Sharon East by going southeast, then travel through the entire Edmakar Forest, and then finally south through the Abrasar Desert itself. If you have the courage to face the Abrasar Desert, I'll be waiting for you. Alright. And he's out. And let's go find Olier. Here she is. Kind of hard to miss with the glowing sort of light. I guess this is goodbye. I'm leaving this place to join the holy mission. And I'm not looking back. Uh, did something happen? You're scowling. Mother and I had a talk. I didn't like any of what I heard. Risa has done some things I can't agree with. I can't talk, I can't talk, about, talk about, it. about it. Oh, okay, go ahead. <laughs> It's like they voice act some of the lines, but not all of them, which to me is always kind of like a weird thing that games do. She wants me to follow in her footsteps, and I just can't. I already have no desire to be Chamber Lady, and what she told me, I refuse to consider being part of it. Alright, listen. It's unlikely we'll meet again, unless of course you want to join me. Having someone I trust by my side would make me a lot less nervous. Uh, I'll think about it. Now we're talking. I'm glad I'd be happy to have you with me. The holy mission is about more than just working under a manifested god. Or fighting the scourge. It's also about helping everyone regardless of tribe or family. Have discipline and mastery First, over yourself. First, protect and look after those who are in need. Second, have discipline and mastery over yourself. And third, always seek to improve yourself so you can better help others to improve and help one another. It's a good set of values to live by. Hmm. In fact, if you join the holy mission and give up your bloodline, you'd be free from ever making payments on your blood price as well. It's the ideal clean slate. If you do want to join us, meet me in Monsoon, in the Hallowed Marsh. The road you need to take to reach the marsh is in the east of the Shersenis. Once in the marsh, follow the Pilgrim Road. The trail of sun pillars toward the ray of light that, fly, that flies over Monsoon. Alright, I can't remember what faction I went with on my first playthrough. It might have been the holy mission of a lot. We, that, that's what I might have done. All right, so we've talked to them. We have filled up our water. Uh, is there anything else we want to do here in town? 
What's our inventory look like? 16 out of 50 for weight capacity is pretty good. Uh, we stored as much as we could. We stored as much as we could in our... What is this? Red light clothes? Oh, that's what we're wearing. Okay. Uh, I don't think we need any potions just yet. Just because I'm not sure exactly what we are going to need. Let's talk to this guy here. He's a merchant as well. Greetings, friend. I think he's also. I think he's also the way we get to the first expansion content, the Sororbian Soror Caravaner. It's a weird word. Soroborian. Let's say it that way. Soroborian. Ah, uh, Sears was my favorite town in Ori. The delicious fish, the sea breeze. But back to business. What do you have? Uh, not not really a lot right now. Small sapphires, hides. Okay, he sells gold, so if we if we end up with a lot of coin, coin gets heavy, we can buy gold bars to kind of like stockpile our coin in our uh, in our chest so that we're not carrying like 300 silver coins, stuff like that. Uh, I don't think we need anything from him right now. Let's talk to this guy here at the gate. I feel like he might have a skill he could teach us. Need something? Uh, I want to train with you. If you'd like a defensive technique with a two-handed sword... Oh no, we, we don't want a two-handed sword lesson. No thanks. Uh, let's see... Uh, talk to Rissa. Let's, yeah, let's go back and talk to Rissa. We completed this one. It's not tracking the little side quest we grabbed from the lady to get the, uh... The mushroom shield. Let's go find Rissa before we head out. There you are. Urgent news just came in. I must be off immediately. I don't know when I'll be able to return. Uh, what happened? This is troubling. There's trouble in Berg. An official council meeting has been called. I'm going to Berg, the main settlement in the Enmakar Forest. The home city of all the tribes, birthplace of our Blue Chamber Collective. If you're able, I'd like you to meet me there. I have an offer. I did not want to spring this on you. I will pay off the rest of your blood price. Oh, yeah. And adopt you <laughs> into the Aberdeen bloodline. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If you pledge yourself to work with me, I'll pay off the rest of your blood praise, adopt you into the Aberdeen bloodline, your name would be cleared, your burden lifted forever. My blood praise is still worth thousands of silvers. Where is this coming from? It's... complicated. With Olier abandoning the family, I need someone that I can rely on, someone I think of as close to family, and I want to make sure you never have to face a mob like that again. The Blue Chamber Collective is about coming together as a family. You remember what the Blue Chamber Collective stands for. Only by sharing our burdens as a family can we hope to survive in Ori. We are all bound together no matter our origins or our chosen path. Yeah, but they were ready to like lynch us and take away our house and like throw us out. So like I don't feel like too good about these people, honestly. Like I, I, I might choose them because I never have. I think I went with the holy mission for my first playthrough, and I think I, when I did a, a attempted playthrough of a second run, I think I went with the Cerobians. So maybe I will try our Blue Chamber Collective. Mm. The individual pales in importance to the family and to the tribe. We all give up a little of what we want, making sure that everyone has what they need. It didn't seem like that when you guys are ready to throw me out of my house, though. It's your choice. Your life is in your hands. I can't very well drag you along now, can I? You're an adult, your life is in your hands. All I can hope to do is try to guide and shape you into someone who acts with the Blue Chamber's needs in mind. You will need to prepare travel rations. If you want to make the journey to another settled region of Ori, you will need to prepare travel rations. If you travel between regions without enough rations, you will starve before you arrive at your destination. Hmm. I have some travel rations to spare. If you need more, the stores and seers will sell some, or you can craft your own with some salt and most types of food. Here's what you need to know. I hope to see you in Berg. If you wish to commit to the protection of the Blue Chamber Collective, meet me there. Take the road to the southeast of Shirstenese. 
Uh, we're not going to rush any of the story stuff. I, I want to kind of thoroughly explore the regions as much as we can before we try to rush off to the story. Exploration and like seeing what you can get up to and what kind of loot you find and what kind of enemies you encounter is a big part of the game for me. So that's going to be kind of my focus. All right, so we're coming out of town, and we are we are pointed directly to the east. I, I'm kind of assuming that we're pointed to the east. Now, we did come across a trail at some point that seemed to lead up to some ruins, and I'm going to try to to find that trail. That may be the dungeon we need to go to to complete that side quest we picked up early on. Uh, this takes us south, which... Seems to meander this way. I don't think that's where it was though. I think it was a little bit further down the main path here. That's the bandit fort that we can see off in the distance. And we, we've got trouble. As you can see, we've already lost a little bit of HP. Now, HP is not going to restore itself passively. Uh, if we want our HP to restore, we are going to have to sleep somewhere. And since it's getting towards nightfall, that might be a good idea anyway. Let's journey up the road a little bit. I probably should have slept until morning back at our house. That would have been like the optimal thing to do. Uh, we are also hungry. We're going to want to take care of that before we... Sleep. Yeah, this is the way that I want to go. I want to check out whatever this is. Uh, let's go ahead and we will eat. And then we will deploy our bedroll here. I should probably take a drink as well. We don't want to get thirsty overnight. Uh, oh, it might also be cold outside. It might also be cold. I might need to start a fire. Now, if only I could remember how to do that. Crafting, okay. We, we, need, we need some more wood. Uh, will I remember how to get wood? Gather wood. Well, that seems about right. 
All right, let's gather some more. Pouch overweight. Pouch overweight. Um, yeah, we don't need this stuff in our pockets. Let's move it to our bags. There we go. Okay, so let's start a fire. There's probably there's probably a hotkey to get into into the crafting. I just don't remember what it is. All right, so this way we won't get cold as we as we sleep. We'll want to sleep relatively close to this. We might also need to get a different outfit on eventually. I think that this one is for like the hot environments. And Sierzo is kind of like moderate. It gets cold a lot of the time. You can see the arrow next to our stamina bar down in the bottom left. You see a sun and a, and a snowflake. If the arrow is going up, that means we're getting warmer. The arrow is going down, that means we are getting colder. So we should be good to sleep here. We've, we've got to counter our our ambush chances. Eight percent chance of ambush. Let's just make it six, and we'll we'll call it there. Looks like we're hungry again. Let's go ahead. We'll eat a little bit of bread this time. Oh, we got some oil over here we can gather. And yeah, this is this is Blister Burrow. I'm pretty sure this is where the lady was sending us for the mushroom shield. Not sure if we're ready to take this on yet, but uh, we will find out soon enough. That's good, you always love to come across another adventurer's corpse. Elemental resistance potion, poison rag for our weapon could be good. Uh, I'm gonna slot this. For now. If we get into what seems to be like a big fight, we can put that on our weapon, that'll deal some additional poison damage. Oh, here we go. So when we have it on our backpack, the lantern will stay lit. That's good. We are thirsty. 
Let's take a drink. I'm not going to take all their little pole arms. If I grab all their tridents, then we're going to fill up way too fast. I'm going to be looking for like other different, more valuable items and not just trying to fill up on all their weapons. We need an aquamarine to open this door. Oh, uh, we can go in here. That, well, that looks a little busy. We, we got an enemy up top and an enemy down below. That guy down there is using some kind of magic. Oh, God. Oh, we've made a terrible mistake. Uh, I've never seen them run like this. Alright, we've got him down. Kind of running a little bit scared here, if I'm being completely honest. All right, we've we've killed two of them. They only seem like moderately interested in chasing us. I'd love to lure one of them up here. I would also love to not be so low on HP. Let's go ahead and get a bandage in while they're waiting down there. Ah, uh, that should start to refill the HP. It's, it's just doing it really, really, really slowly. This guy, this guy looks really deadly. <laughs> uh, I think I see the item we need down there too. Yeah. This is going to be questionable. Thought we could mine that, but I guess not. This doesn't go anywhere. I'm going to go ahead and use the, the weapon poison. Oh, we're not locked on. Oh, that's bad. Oh, this might be death number one. Alright, let's, let's peel out this way. <laughs> I'm surprised that I, I lived like that. That was a little bit too spastic. Uh, we, we are going to die here if I don't do something. Let's try to bandage. And we may be able to, uh, to get a quick rest in. That could be the only way that we really survive this. Because we are not doing great. We got a lot of ambush chance here. Let's do this. We'll have to eat and drink once we wake up.
Alright, that takes care of the poison. Thankfully we had that. All right, so we should be we should be in good shape. I'm a little bit of a spaz in this kind of combat. I'll, I'll get better over time, but when there's so many of them, like if you're not locked on, it's really hard to successfully block. And I was definitely not uh, properly locked on to those guys. Uh, that staff I might grab. That staff looks a little bit better than some of the junk that the other guys were carrying. Let's see if we can just loot him. Uh, what does he have? He has Dark Varnish. D uh, confers Decay Element when applied to weapons, Thick Oil, and a Mana Stone. Whew. Okay. Very good. Very good. I, I believe that takes care of all of them. Oh, you've got some other stuff on you. Bitter spice tea concoction that instantly cures infections, protects against cold, and restores burnt stamina. We have a little bit of burnt stamina, but we're going to hang on to it. Cold stone tra transmuted mana stone using an alchemy kit to merge the stone and a pinch of blue stand. Using alchemy kit to merge stone and oil. Okay. We don't have an alchemy kit yet. We'll have to get one eventually. Alright, let's come over here and we'll grab what I think is the quest item. Yes. Mushroom shield. However, like, I wonder... It's probably better... Oh, we now we have 15 on this one. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, we have another enemy up there. Uh, this thing here, troglodyte staff... Impact 22. Impact might be something I want. Like, on a one-hander, we don't have a lot of impact. This reduces mana cost. Okay, this is more of like a caster. More of a caster weapon. For some reason, I remember that I could, like, mine some of these, but, uh... Doesn't seem to be the case. We'll drink and we'll fill up here. That's a dead end. Even though we've completed the objective, there's still lots to explore in here, I feel like. I want to give it a thorough delve. Though we might come up against uh, some more enemies. Uh, we have like a little confusion thing on us. Oh, impact resist down. Okay. Yeah, the bag's overweight. I, I can't really afford to carry all of these staves. Let's let's drop one. I think I might equip this. Just to give us like some more I talked about wanting to be like heavy armor and I'm wearing I was wearing like the weakest armor that you could in the game, so like not a really good move. Uh, on my part. Uh, okay, this is not a one-way drop off like I kinda thought it was. Here we go, we can mine some iron, we're gonna need that. Uh, 
Uh, I feel like definitely there are going to be enemies in this next room. No? That's, uh, that's kind of hard to believe. We've got a chest over here. And then I'm not really sure what this is. Your guess is as good as mine. I think this one we can mine. Yeah, okay, okay. If they're standing upright like this, we can mine them. And that is not a door out. So this was a, this ends, this was a dead end. Let's go back up, we'll go down, and we'll go out another way. Alright, despite my best efforts, the bag is overweight. Uh, we have some room in our pockets, actually. I think I think the equipment we have on gives us more weight capacity in our pockets. Uh, we could drop this old shield. And we could just move some of these things to our pocket until we are getting full there. 12. 13. Oh, we have we have a lot of room. Now our pockets are okay. Let's put this back in our bag, and there we go. That gives us a little bit of weight now in our backpack. The blood mushrooms, I'm pretty sure we need blood mushrooms to make healing potions. What in the heck are you? Whatever you are, you are freaky looking. And then I feel like the only other way in here to go was through the door that needed a sapphire. Oh, we got some hackamite. Uh, not sure what hackamite is. Okay, we came from this way. Oh, okay, there's there's more ways to go. I feel like when I'm exploring these, I, I need to have like some graph paper next to me. It's kind of a shame that I don't have enough room for all of this. We could sell some of it. Okay, this this is back at the beginning. Okay. So this was this way.
And then in that case... Maybe we've explored everything. Yeah, there was the room with the with the quest item. Oh, there's the aquamarine. Okay, so we should be able to maybe open that door now, assuming that we can uh, that we can find it again. All right, this leads back up here. And now, where was the door? Oh, we are hungry. We don't want to let that go for too long. Um, let's eat the last tartine. Here we go. Oh, nice. Oh, no! <laughs> we opened one, now we need a small sapphire uh, to get into the other. Oh, well, okay. I'm pretty sure that leads us out to the exit. I guess there's no chance of finding like a small sapphire in here. Maybe I've already mined that. Alright, yeah, I feel like we've explored everywhere in here that we can for now. And we can do, like, one more little circuit just to make sure that I didn't completely miss anything. Although, yeah. Oh, I did not want to equip that. <laughs> that was not, not at all what I wanted to do. Oh, God, what? Okay. Okay. We, we had not been into this room, that's, that's for sure. What is this? Take giant heart. Oh, God. So did the troglodytes kill this thing? And they're like, what, are they trying to cook it? There's an iron vein back here somewhere. Okay, well, there you go. You see, if I had not done that last circuit, we probably never would have found this place. Alright, so maybe now, maybe now we're cleared. Maybe now we're cleared. What's the old trick of dungeons? Hug the left wall. If you hug the left wall, you'll find all the ways to go. Maybe I should be adopting that kind of philosophy. Yeah, see, that takes us back in. Okay, yeah, I think I think we're done here for now. We need to find a small... It was a small sapphire. Is what we need. I'm not sure if maybe we didn't stash one in our, in our stash back at home. I don't think so. Well, let's double check what it is. Yeah, small sapphire. Okay. Maybe we could even buy one somewhere. I'm not 100% I'm not sure.
Whew. All right. Well, that was a pretty successful first dungeon delve. Despite some of my like spazziness the first time we engaged a bunch of guys in combat, we didn't die. Uh, which is surprising and maybe a new record for me in this game of like time it takes for me to get my first death. Uh, death is a little bit random in Outward. You could wake up back at home missing some money. Uh, you could wake up right where you're at to be attacked again. You could be dragged away by the enemies so that when you wake up you have to fight them again. Uh, a couple of different scenarios can play out uh, if you do in fact die. There aren't like respawn points like you might expect or anything like that. So, oh, oh Jesus. Um, hey little bird. <laughs> Come here. Ouch. Kill killed by a chocobo would be the way I would go for my first death. These things, yeah, they, they tend to run away. It's all it's almost like it's almost not even worth fighting them. Uh we got bandits here. Hey guys. Oh my god. You see what I mean? Like when you're not when you're not tagged on, like if you're not tagged onto them, like you can't block. We we could die right here. Which would be very bad. So instead of dying, let's run away. Yeah, we're too low on HP for me to want to deal with that. Let's see if we can get ourselves safely back to town. And just call this a lucky expedition. If I could string them out a little bit from each other, that'd be fine. Oh, I don't even know that they're chasing us. Yeah, they might not even be chasing us. Uh, what do we got going on up here? The butterflies. I forget what the butterflies do. I think the butterflies, we can pitch our tent here and like we, we won't get attacked. Let's just, uh, let's just test that out. Test out this little theory. Get some of our HP back before we die. Yeah, look at that. If, if you sleep near the butterflies, you don't need to worry about guarding. Let's do that really fast. Not that much can happen to us on the way back to town. But this way we're not about to fall over. Uh, of course we are thirsty, we are hungry. Let's take care of those needs. And let's grab our bedroll. Oh, okay. Um, a couple of things. Let's go vendor everything we got. I think we're going to need to buy an alchemy kit soon and start experimenting with making some potions and stuff like that. What can I do for that you? That might be the next thing that we have to do. All right. All right, so let's, let's sell everything that we can here. I'm not going to use the bow for right now. I'm going to sell it. Hex cleaner. I'm going to sell some of this stuff. You know, we probably should hang on to it, but right now what I need more than anything else is I need money. Yeah, right, right now I honestly just need money more than I need anything else. Uh, I want to see what happens when I do uh, alchemy with these stones, so I'm going to hang on to them for now. Uh, hide. I'm not sure if I need the hide. I'm gonna hang on to this. Hackamite. Dark gem with intricate magical properties. Craftsmen in Levant can create wizardly robes. I'm not gonna be a wizard. Uh, whatever else I do, I'm not gonna be a wizard. I'm gonna sell both these for a huge chunk of money. 
Maybe I'll regret that later. I, I don't really think so. I, I might have a little bit of magic that I use, but I'm not going to be like a wizard spec, so I'm not going to worry about that. Okay. Um, we still have a lot. Of, we're still carrying a lot. I, I'm going to have to store some of it, obviously, but I think that's good for now. And there we go. So we're up to 182. I wish there was a, a compare button where I could like compare my current weapon to the weapons here. Would be a nice feature. This is this is really expensive, but obviously would give us some good protection. Uh, but yeah, I do think that I have to think about an alchemy kit and start getting into a little bit of alchemy. Although, like, as soon as I do that, I'll probably find an hey alchemy there. kit. How much do alchemy kits cost? Can she can she even sell us an alchemy kit? Yes, yeah, 60. Okay. Assassin's Elixir, Astral Potion. Life Potion. Hmm. Yeah, if, if I do this now, that'll be a lot of, uh, of what we have. Alternately, like, potions themselves, like, uh, are pretty expensive. Well, I'm gonna have to do this now. Let's, let's just go ahead and do it. And then... I'm trying to remember. I'm just gonna have to buy the recipe, I think. And so for the alchemy kit to work, I'm pretty sure that we need a fire. Let's go turn in our quest. We did the one quest. Uh, we'll get that turned in and then I'll play around a little bit with the alchemy. And I want to make sure that we can at least make health pots. That way we can pop them. If we're in combat and we're like really low, I can just pop a health pot. As opposed to having to flee like a maniac and resting in the bedroll. Which, you know, it worked, but it's not, it's not optimal. Greetings, friend. Lend me your ear. I'm always interested in curiosities. Oh, we can what give have you got? we can give her the garnet of the ash giant, the the heart. Oh, ho. thirty silver. An interesting piece. All right, let's Excellent. let's sell it to her for thirty silver. Lend me your ear. I found the rare you mushroom you this. wanted. She gave us seventy for that. Lend me your ear. I'm always interested in curiosities. Okay. What have you got? So, uh, that puts us back up to 213 silver. Um, yeah, which is, uh, which is pretty good. If there were, like, better weapons for sale, then I, I might be tempted to, to do that. Let's see if we can... There's a little fire inside of our house. I wonder if we can lay the alchemy kit down inside of the house. Or if it has to be done outside somewhere. Yeah, it doesn't look like we can use it inside, unfortunately. That would be way too convenient. Uh, we have to go out and start a fire. How is the fire going to work in the rain? I don't know. I do not have any idea. Let's go to our crafting. Create the campfire. I'm hoping the rain just doesn't affect it. I know that wouldn't be like super realistic, but for quality of life. Yeah, there we go. Put down the alchemy kit. 
All right, yeah, life potions. Okay, so we need water. Oh, grave beetles. Okay, okay. So we do have a bunch of these. We didn't have a bunch. I might have some more stored. I feel like maybe I stored some. And then we have other stuff to store as well. Ah, uh, no, I stored some ochre spice beetles. Okay, okay. Uh, well, for now, let's let's move these over into the stash. Uh, I don't know what these are for yet. Let's store those as well. I don't need arrows right now. I don't know if I'll ever need arrows. Transmute using alchemy kit to merge the stone and some oil. I want to try this. It's kind of like giving us a hint without having the recipe. So what if we... How do I... Okay, here we go. This and this. Invalid. Huh. Okay, so maybe I won't mess with anything that I don't have an actual recipe for. I thought maybe we could like free craft stuff and that it would uh, it would just work, but apparently not. Until I know what these are these are for, I'm gonna I'm gonna store these. Uh, we'll store the hide. We'll store the iron. We don't need the travel rations right now. I'm gonna store those as well. Uh, we need some oil, so I'll, I'll keep that. Everything else I think is good. I could probably store like some of these. All right, that seems good for now. I'd love to buy a better weapon. I'm just not sure that the merchant here has a better one-hander for us. So like, I think for now, we're gonna be good with what we have. We might like splurge on some better armor. I'm not 100% decided on that, but we may. I will think about that for next time, guys. I'm gonna take a break right here for today. Thank you all very much for joining me. I am having a lot of fun back in Outward. Um, it's kind of that thing where like a lot of the game is really chill. Uh, it's kind of relaxing, but then when you get into combat, you get into a dungeon, there are some very stressful uh, situations. So I, I kind of enjoy like the juxtaposition of like relaxing to like nerve-wracking, relaxing, and then a little bit of nerve-wracking. So uh, yeah, I have fun with that. Hope you guys are enjoying it as well. Let me know what you think of the game. I would love to hear from you. And until next time, take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we'll see you back here again in the world of Ori very soon. Bye for now.